Welcome one and all, I'm Loz and this is Gunpar's Workshop, I think. A Sunday update, Sunday the 24th of September. What I'm going to show today is a quick run through of the process involved on this one day course to make this uh, multicoloured hard, hardwood box with a very simple get it off mitre corners, rebated top and bottom and a little thin insert to slide on and retain the lead. So let's get into it. One day course at Leeds with Messrs Coleman and Edwards makers of fine furniture. This is not a sponsored advert for them. Kaz and Jake this is the second course I've been with them. I did the intro, introduction to hand tools last year. And after I'd done that two day box making course, I wanted to go back and learn how to make this one. As usual, on arrival for the day, brew was provided, introductions all round, and we were shown to our benches where they were waited as a notepad, a pencil, a 6 inch stainless steel rule and a tape which they seem to provide for both courses and I'm always happy to take freebies away. Also on the bench were two boards of multicoloured woods previously assembled and glued for us out of their offcuts one about two foot long and six inches wide one a bit shorter and a bit shallower for the top, the longer one being for the four pieces round and the shorter piece being the top and bottom. Instruction of the box, very simple, it's a quick quick set of mitered corners, putting 45 degree angles on the ends of the wood, a rebate in the, the, the sides top and bottom that then take the top and bottom inside afterwards and uh, a thin strip of liner that gets cut the length and glued in to retain the top on the box after the box is assembled the top is cut off and the inserts are put in so that's a brief overview uh, so first job is we all took our two lengths of timber, one for the sides, one for the top, and we fed them in a sort of circular crocodile taking turns through their big drum sander, taking down the final uh, million marks of the previously glued together pieces. Then we took the boards to the router table, and there was a straight Actually, I think it was just a straight bit kept further depth and the width about half of the finished, the height being half the finished width of the boards, which I think was about, after all that room sanding, about 12 millimetres thick. So we had two strips of wood, each with a rebate cut top and bottom. Then in turn, we were taken to Gaz and Jake's big panel saw and we chopped the board to make up the sides into four pieces. And as is usual to maintain at the grain all the way around all four corners, the ends, the panel saw was set to 45 degrees at the end to form the mitre and it was cut long piece, short piece, long piece, short piece and nibbling pieces in between if you know what I mean. So then we ended up with four pieces with the 45 degree mitre on each end. Then that was taken back to the bench. The inside was given, the inside only was given a series of 
sanding with the hand sander on a progressive series of sanding discs to taking it from the 80 grit all the way through to 240. So the inside was sanded down to 240. Well, it was smoothed off and then the inside only taking care not to drip on the 45 degree cuts was given a treat of Osmo, one coat of Osmo poly buffed off and allowed to dry and then the four pieces were held together and we used each of us had two of those ratchet clamps but instead of with corner for 90, instead of 90 degree corner plastic bits it, it went round and we put two plywood coals in each side and when the canvas straps were held tight you then push the the uh, ply strips outwards and that tightens it all together and we adjusted it so it could check it was all at 90 degrees and everything is lined up then when we'd proven that we then laid it out again and using the fast drying glue i'll show you a picture that was put in a very thin smidge glue was put in the whole thing assembled a second time cranked up and let dry at least 15 minutes i think five minutes to adjust and then it's solid after 15. while that was going on we then took a shorter piece and, it, and that this time was cut to rough length with the panel saw blade at 90 degrees. So then we, we had the box carcass with a rebate top and bottom and two pieces of the shorter length cut the length and then what we did then is we placed the shorter piece in and very carefully nibbled it down so it was the right length at the bottom corners using a Festool back saw. So the picture there. So we had it almost ready and then it was a series of nibbles you would place the piece in, get the bottom snug against the inside of the rebate and check down this end where the gap was. So if the gap was at the top, you measured that and then you marked it on the bottom face and took it to the uh, track saw and cut it. And the idea is to get that's already in line uh, with the bottom edge of the rebate and then hopefully you, you're getting that side not necessarily at right angles but parallel to the inside of there so you, you've got a, a long side and a short side fitting in the rebate edge nice and snugly and then you did that until all four fixated in snugly and then we did the other side and then we put the two together and then we clamped it closed then it was a case of once that had dried we put the box through the panel saw again at 90 degrees to cut the top off from the bottom, you see in the middle of the walnut strip. Then it was a case of, in my case particularly, there was a little notch in it where it had moved on the fourth side because we hadn't put any wedges in. So then it was a case of putting both through the big bench planer to get it level. And then I took it back to the bench and sanded it, sanded did the edges. Then on the last leg we had a strip of this insert already cut to the length and to the depth for us 
and it was a case of measuring and cutting these thin strips the length on a bench hook using a variety of hand saws uh, like Gas and Jake had done with us on the first course just to get used to using hand saws so there was a very task a uh, little very task cross cut saw and then there was Japanese pull saw and then the the hybrid which is the English pattern handle but where with the pull blade so we tried all them and it gets it's a mile an hour until it'd get like two long pieces in fitting and then the harder bit is to get the short sorry no we did the short pieces first put them in and then we cut the longer pieces to length bit because it's easier if the longer pieces are slightly oversized if the long pieces, if the short pieces got the full width of the rebate inside, and the long pieces, if we nibble down, sawing, and and the idea is if it's slightly oversized because of the length, there's a bit of flex to get the ends in and push the middle in. I ended up with very fine adjustments on their big 12-inch. Uh, did a disc sander just teasing the lens slightly so it was a snug push fit and then that was glued and clamped all around and then finally what I forgot to say is when the top and bottom went in after it's all been glued up then we found there was a little uh, lip where it, it wasn't flush with the edge of the rebate so then we sanded that top down again to the 240 so it's nice and smooth last but not least in the little gaps around the edge top and bottom there were little gaps where the router put the rebate in and then we had a choice of different uh, wood fillers to match all the different woods. Uh, I used an ash wood filler because that piece, that top piece, which you know sh uh, shows us the there is ash. So I, I I used ash to fill it in, and then a good sun down again, and then finally another coat of Osmo on the outside, and a buff, and we were done. And I'm pleased with that. So that's that. I hope I've explained it right. And there are some, there are some gaps in the slides, but it's you know, the excitement of the day. I wasn't always filming the right thing at the right time. That's that. I've got other things in the pipeline, but I think this is about it for now. I'm off for my cup of Yorkshire tea. You crack on in your garages and I'll catch you next time. You take care guys. See you soon.